Hi everybody, I'm Edward Munoz and I'm here in Burton Burton. Today, I want to show you how you can create a graduation jar steak. Are you ready? I'm ready. I will create this design just using my hand pump that is easier for you just in case you have just the hand pump. When I say four pumps, remember it's just one, two, three, four. We need to create two different quads. The top quad will be 15 pumps and the second level quad will be just 10 pumps. Right now, we need to start creating the bigger quad. 15 pumps. I'm using a chrome silver 11 inch maroon and 11 inch onyx black. Fifteen pump. When you have the two balloons ready, you have to tie together. Just stretch the neck, wrapping around two times and tie. One, two, and tie. This is the first duplex. We need to repeat the process one more time to create the second duplex. When you have the first duplex and the second one, just put together on the center, and now twist. Here you have your first quad with 15 pumps. We need to create the second quad just with 10 pumps. After you do that process, just put on the bottle the bigger quad and we need to tie both together. Just hold one neck the balloon, the bigger quad, sit on top the smaller quad. I keep it holding the neck, wrapping around two balloons because we need to take like tie the center and tie with any other neck the balloon, okay? Now, it's time to air fill the number balloon. After you have the number fully inflated, just hold in between a table and yourself. The benefits is just a hand free. Take a 260 flat balloon. How flat? Just take out all the extra air inside the balloon. Hold in here, a stretch, and tie. Now, stretch the balloon and wrapping down all the neck of the foil and tie two times. Take your base, sit on top the number, stretch to the bottom, and tie two times. Like this. Now it's time to put the jar steak. The jar steak is easy to assemble and they come in different pieces just put together. Now, slide in, and you just see it's important that the base can be the same high, the same high of the bigger quad. Because that's way when you twist those two balloons, the balloon will hold around the pole, okay? Twist the balloon. 
two times. And now, if you see, you're twisting around the first quad, but now we need to repeat the same process on the smaller quad, okay? To hold on the center, because if you don't twist those two quads, will be like that. Look how stable it is. I will use just satin ribbon, black satin ribbon. I think it will look pretty. Just like extra touch. I'm looking for the center, sliding in my small quad. Now let me clean the edges of my ribbon. That look nicer. Now our design are ready to take out to the jar to celebrate our graduate. I hope you enjoyed this video, I really did. It's saleable, easy to make. Now, it's time to make your own. And tag us, Burton plus Burton. Thank you for watching us.